What's up everybody? Man, it is a nice, cool fall afternoon here in South Carolina. It's only like 93, 94 degrees outside. Not too bad, pretty mild. So Andrew with templateforme.com reached out to me and he asked me to do a review on his website that he recently created. This website uh, is just what it sounds like. It's a template. It's a template that allows you to uh, get creative, it allows you to uh, make monograms, split monograms that uh, you see all over the place. A lot of people like these monograms. Uh, they can be used as decals on the back of people's vehicles. They can be used as signs to hang up on your front door. Uh, they can be hung in your house. They can be made just about anything that'll cut material using SVG files. Uh, this is what this website does. So this video, I'm going to show you how to use it and I'm going to show you a sign that I make uh, using it that will be used in our own personal house. So let's jump right in. I'll go ahead and show you the website now and I will show you how to use it. So the first thing is, is go into your web browser and search for template for me. Once you sign up, you'll get a username and a password. I'm going to sign into mine. It's a very simple template and tool to use. I'll show you how to use it and I'll show you how I designed the sign and how I made it. So my last name is Wood. Yes, that is true. That's a real last name. So you put that in and then you do your update text. You do have the availability to go in and choose whatever letter you would like. So I went with this W here. And then for the last name, I chose this one here. You can adjust the size of the name. You can adjust the size of the letter. You just adjust it to what you feel comfortable with and what you like. There's also an advanced options here, which allows you to adjust uh, up, down, left, or right, uh, the area height for the split, the name size, the name text location, up and down, left or right, and the letter size and the line length. Another option that's pretty cool is this background option. Now I didn't choose to use one because it was just a smaller sign. So I decided to opt out of it, but some of these are really cool. Now once you have your design set, it's very simple. Um, I work in a software called vCarve Pro, which is what I use for my CNC machine. But again, this can be used for any kind of CNC type machine, whether it's a CNC router, a CNC metal uh, plasma cutter, a laser. Um, it can be used for your Cricut. So if you are a person who likes to make vinyl decals, or if you like to do crafts that involve making shirts, anything that requires an SVG format. So this button right here is your export as SVG. So when you click this, it's going to save a download to your computer as an SVG file. Now, I'm going to fast forward and take you to the file that I created for the sign that I made. So I've imported this into vCarve and I would like to add a couple things to it. I'm going to add our wedding gear.
big. I think that'll do. I think that's a good, simple design that we want to use. And just so we can kind of see, I think I'm going to put this on some pine. Where are you at? Pine. Pine old. Yeah, we'll look at that. And then what I'll probably do is I will add a border around it. You know, maybe I'll paint this white. Maybe I'll do that. Use solid color, yes. So we'll do the sign white and we will probably leave this natural, maybe stain. I don't know, we will see.